Hello viewers, Mayor's Cal here. So I didn't have any luck with the uh, this setup off the neon sign transformer. So I'm going to have a play around with um, the Mott box. And I just th did a test fire on this cap here and uh, put these two terminals close together. And when it fired, it was only for about a second and we've got like maybe... nine strikes on those copper tabs so it went about nine times a second so that's you know that's fast enough to keep up with what this wheel needs to do and it was very loud so I'll give you a demo of that first of all I'll charge the cap up and just discharge it with the chicken stick with a piece of copper on the end of it then uh, then I'll bring these two together and get them nice and close and, and see how uh, it runs continuous fire. Might stick a Zen on flash tube on there just for kicks too. And a bit of a disco strobe. Okay, so you can see there's nothing in there at the moment. I'll just briefly turn on the mop box and discharge. Okay, now the electrodes are really close together and um, sort of like a Jacob's Ladder setup. So I'm just going to turn it on again and hopefully it'll continue as this wire. This will be the sort of pulses needed to run the um, wheel. Oh, yeah, that's all I want. Perfect. Then on flash bulb. Always discharge caps. Always. Even if you think they're dead. I make a habit of actually discharging them every time I come to it. Even if I know it's been sitting there on the bench overnight, completely flat. Even if I think it's been there for the last, what, six weeks and it doesn't have any charge in it, I still discharge it. It's just a habit I can force myself into because you get bitten off one of these, mate. You're not, you're not around to tell the story. And while I'm giving tips, given this one before. If your camera does a shit macro, holding the stuff up to it going, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's quite disappointing video wise, so just get a lens, any lens, doesn't matter how crappy your digital camera is, just get that lens, hold it up to the front of your, your, your camera, and look at that. How's that for a good macro? So here's a macro close up of the stator. I'm waiting for that glue to dry that's under the under the container that holds the water, but I'll give you a close-up view of the stator and the I guess they'd be the cavity. And so you can see how the the gases or steam is going to move around. And I'd like to reiterate something Stanley Meyer said. And it was catastrophic failure of the dielectric properties of water. Now let's have a look at that. We'll charge up the cap. It's now charged. Get some distilled water on my chicken stick and bridge this terminal with distilled water. No conductivity in distilled water. Was that not catastrophic failure of the dielectric properties of water? Do you think that's going to make my little wheel spin round? Well, we're going to have to wait till that glue's dry. And you're going to have to wait for the next instalment. Part 3 of the Pulse Motor Build-Off 2012. Thanks for watching.